Hey guys, welcome to another tier ranking. Welcome to my tier ranking for Miss Dakota Fanning's movies. Dakota Fanning, she was just in the new movie The Equalizer 3, and people are saying, hey, do a tier ranking, do a tier ranking for Dakota Fanning. You've never done a top 10 list or ranking, or even talk a lot about Dakota Fanning, so do a list on Dakota Fanning. So I was like, okay. <laughs> Um, there's a lot of movies I have not seen of hers, and I know she has a pretty big filmography because she started acting super, super young, and she just has a lot of these independent films that I just never really watched, and some of these other films that I just didn't give a shit to watch, but there's a good chunk I've seen of hers, so yeah, I could do a tier ranking of her movies that I've seen. And yep, as always, S is the best, F is the worst. And before we start, let's just get these out of the way, because we all know, we all know, she was in some of the Twilight movies as uh, Jane, as not her pain. <laughs> Again, these are terrible, terrible films, but they're like, so bad they're funny. So, I always, every time a Twilight movie is in these tier lists, I always put them in the D category. Even though they should be in an F. But they're an A for entertainment, but they're F. So, I'll settle with a D. Alright. The Runaways. Underrated. Underrated good movie. This is about Joan Jett, and Kristen Stewart was a really great choice to play Joan Jett, and Dakota Fanning as the lead singer of Cherry. Um, we all know the song, ch 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 cherry bomb Very good movie, um, what's his name, Michael Shannon, he's really good. It's just a, a fun, like, 70s movie, uh, movies that take place in the 70s, sorry, about this band, this girl band coming together and stuff, and how they have to deal with the fans and the obsessive guy fans and stuff, and it's a really good movie. I, I love movies about bands, so yeah, The Runaways was really good. Push. I'll go see for Push. Push was like it was like kind of like super powered kind of movie. It's not like a superhero movie, but it has Chris Evans, and it's about these like people with like all these like certain powers that live in the normal day world and stuff. And it, it has cool ideas. Just I don't think the execution is quite right. I think the direction was a little sloppy. I hated how the movie looked and was shot, but I do like Chris Evans and Dakota Fanning in the movie. I think they're both very good in the movie, but I think the movie just had. A bad director. And I think if I had a better director, I think it could have been a better film. So, yeah. Dreamer, the horse movie. It's alright. Oh, please stand by it. That's an A tier right there. I remember I reviewed this movie. Super good movie. Dakota Fanning is so good in this film. She plays this girl who with autism and she doesn't know how to communicate with people. And the thing she loves most in this world is Star Trek and she feels like she's like Spock, because Spock can't communicate with humans because he's only he's logical all the time, and she's logical all the time. And watching Star Trek makes her, like, want to uh, inspire her life and become a writer. She wants to write an episode for Star Trek, so a lot of the movie is a road trip movie of her trying to get her script. So they can make her episode of Star Trek. It's, 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 a, it's a Trekkie movie, but it's also a great, like dramatic story about a girl with autism and it's a great movie i think she's solid in this film trap oh it's the one with kevin bacon yeah it's not very good charlotte's web charlotte's web is really good i, I remember reading this book as a kid and it was really sad julie roberts as charlotte is a really good casting choice the court fanning also plays the little girl of owner of Wilbur the Pig. Um, really good movie. Uh, it's a good book, too, and yeah, just a fun family film. Coraline, that's an ass right there. I love Coraline. I've talked so much. I did a whole video on Coraline, how much I really enjoy this movie. I love the animation. I love that it's a movie for, like, kids, but, like, for older kids, because it is a truly frightening animated, stop motion animated film. Terror, terrifying story, scary characters, the Beldum, again, I always talk about the Beldum, because the Beldum is one of the most underrated movie villains, like, the soundtrack, the atmosphere, the look, aesthetics of this movie, is just fantastic, and just, what a great movie. I Am Sam, yeah, it's alright. War of the Worlds, War of the Worlds is good, I actually like War of the Worlds, I think Steven Spielberg did a pretty good job, and, um, 
I think Dakota Fanning is the worst part of the movie, sadly. I think she just doesn't shut the fuck up and just does stop crying. But I like Tom Cruise in the movie. And the movie itself, I, I think, is really good. But Man on Fire is also really good, too. Denzel and her. This is the first time they were in a movie. Uh, and I'll just put the equalizer right there with the B. Night Moves is also really good. Very under underrated movie, too. Really good indie film. Her and Jesse Eisenberg. Really good. Oh, here we go. Got that. Dirty ho. What a piece of shit. Like, an absolute piece. I, I know the movie was trying so hard to bank off, like, the Grinch money because the Grinch with Jim Carrey was such a hit. And they're like, hey, let's do it again, but with Cat in the Hat. No. No. <laughs> Uh, was this is this your life of bees? Eh, it's all right. Ocean's Eight. Oh yeah, she was in that. Not very much, but crap. All right. Once upon a time in Hollywood. I'm gonna go S because she's only in one scene, and it is one of the best scenes in the movie. She is fantastic. This is one of her best performances. She is horrifying in this movie, and. The whole scene of uh, Spawn movie, uh, the Spawn movie ranch when Cliff Booth goes to the ranch and beats the whole family, it's fucked up. But Dakota Fanning, she may be only in one part of the movie, but it is a memorable fucking part. It was the movie I, lo I love Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. I think it's a great movie, but her scene alone, one of the best performances in the movie. Not quite as good as Leo and Brad, but still really good. My Neighbor Totoro, solid uh, Stu Ghibli movie. And what's this? Uptown Girls. Ah, uh, sure. Brittany Murphy, R.I.P. I, I, I've always enjoyed Brittany Murphy as an actress, but eh, it's all right. My sister loves this movie. <laughs> all right, let's sort these out. Coraline will go on the top, because that's like the Dakota Fanning movie that I love the most. Bam, bam, for the B tier. Let's go Runaways, Charlotte's Web, War of the Worlds, Man on Fire. Yeah, that's a solid ranking right there. For the C, uh, just do that. For the D, and bam, there we go. Quick, quick and easy. That was my tier ranking for Dakota Fanning's movie. So let me know in the comment section below. What is your favorite and least favorite Dakota Fanning movie? Comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like this video, please like and subscribe to this channel. And join the dark side.